Hey guys, I'm Donda Russo, fashion and lifestyle stylist, and this is another episode of Belladon TV. Today, I'm going to tell you how to do it yourself feather headbands and feather hair accessories. So, let me show you one that's already finished just so you know what I'm talking about. This is one of the really trendy feather headbands that everybody's wearing. You'll see them like celebrities, everyone has them in their hair, and they're so pretty, and you can get like tons of different colors. This one has like green and white in it and uh, it's a really pretty feather and it's just on like a piece of felt back here now and this is uh, this is the one that I'm going to show you to make but then I also did a few other ones that I haven't even seen anywhere but I think they came out really cute it's on these little um, little jaw clips um, and I'll show you how to make these too and I have really one really cool one let me show you this one just because it's fun and I did this one really quick it is a feather and crystal head how pretty is that? Oh, it's gorgeous. Um, I took a little time. It took me about maybe 20 minutes to do this one. But you guys could do it yourself. It's really cool. If not, you could buy it <laughs> online. But um, they tend to be really expensive when you start to buy them online. Like something like this um, in my store is around like in that close to $50 range just because of all the Swarovski crystals on it. Um, and it has this gold and the feather and everything. So this can get a little pricey. Same with this. Like something like this is $22 for this headband. And I've seen these go all the way up to like in the hundreds. So they could be a lot. And if it's something trendy that you're only wearing, you know, here and there. And you're not going to be wearing it forever. Why not do it yourself for under $10? Even, it's like almost under five technically. So what you're going to do is you're going to go to the craft store. And they have lots of these plastic little headbands. See, it's just like this a plain black one. They have brown. They have any color. You want to maybe match it to your hair. I did the black just because it's easier to do it on black because it goes with everything. You could wrap this in different ribbons and stuff to, if you don't want the plastic. But I just left it plain. And it's so simple. These feathers you could buy already done on the felt. If they're not already done on the felt, you could buy a big package for like a dollar of these feathers. And they all come like individual and what you do is you just grab a piece of felt like that kind of felt and you're just going to glue these on here but if you can't find it these you can find like I've found I've seen them in a million different stores so what you're going to do is you're going to take this you're going to take your glue and I'll show you really quickly you're going to glue the back in a strip down the back. Now you're gonna have to wait for this to dry so right now you're not gonna see it totally dry but I'll show you the other one again just so you can see what it looks like once it's done. You're gonna just put a strip of glue down the back in the middle and just stick it on. It's as simple as that. And you're gonna want to hold this in place for a little bit. And this is the feather is really flexible so you can like mold it to fit the shape of whatever you're going for. So like this headband is a little bit curved so I'm gonna hold it on. But that's how it's gonna be. You're gonna put the feather on like that and you're gonna have to hold it there for a little bit just you know a few minutes just to keep it so that way it gets stuck. And that's your feather headband. And it's so simple and it's done in like two seconds. Look at that. How nice is that? Done. And your final prod product looks like this. Once it's finished Pretty much looks like this. This is another one that I did. Oh, it's so cute. How cute is that? So you, now you can go out, wear this headband everywhere. It's adorable. That's that one. If you want to do one like this with the crystals and really get crazy, um, the feathers that I showed you before are these. I just took another plastic headband, but this one's on a clear one. Now, you don't have to do it on a clear one, but I did it on a clear one so you could really see the crystals. I... Um, glued this feather on and just held it there to form now look at you could even put like two on that would look pretty too anyway so you put I glued the feather on all the way up so it was glued like that and then I took each individual crystal and I'll show you one of the crystals it's a little crystal like that a little Swarovski crystals and you're gonna want to get like a tweezer or plier to put the crystals on because it's not as easy to hold them in your hands when you're doing it. Actually, if you go to the craft store for a couple dollars, they have the tweezer that is curved, which is really easy to use. But these will pick it up and you're just going to hold it in your tweezer like that and dip it in a little bit of the same glue. 
and just apply it. Just like that, you're going to apply each one on. Now that's a little time consuming, but it ends with a really gorgeous looking. And I did a few different sizes. There's a small, medium, and large size crystals, and I did AB crystals, which are the ones that are iridescent, so you get really, like, really crazy sparkle. Um, let's see if you can see the size. I don't know if you can see that whole size of them, but it's so sparkly. I love it. And this looks really nice in too. Oh, and the bottoms. What I did was the same black felt. I took the black felt, and this is just um, flexible wire, gold wire, just to give it a little extra detail on the ends. And it looks so pretty when you wear this. And it's really, like, delicate. It's not too crazy. It has the crystals on the side and the feather on the other side. And I did it in a brown feather, so it matched my hair a little bit better. Um, I love it. I think it's just so pretty. Oh, it's gorgeous. Now, finally, just for extra little fun, I did this little jaw clip. And these you can also buy in the craft store. They're just a plastic little clip. And it's the same concept. You take the feather. It's all gluing and crystalline, crystallizing. I put the whole feather on first is what I did just to, get, just to give it, you know, the starting point. I glued that feather on to the clip. Once the feather was dry and the glue was dry on the clip, I took all the crystals, same crystals, the AB crystals, a couple of other Swarovski crystals, and I just pretty, pretty much put them all on, glued them on the whole clip, and you got that cool little crystal effect. Oh, it's so pretty. I'm a lefty, so I tend to put things in all on the other side. See that? It looks so pretty. In. Um, this is a little bit dressier, but it's a nice way to do it. And this, the clip was like, I think it was 99 cents, and for a few of the crystals, this maybe totals 3 or $4 dollars. So simple. This you would spend literally in a big, huge department store. I've seen them for, oh my gosh, over $50 for a little clip like this that you can get and you can throw it out if you want. You can wear it once and throw it out. <laughs> so you guys could have fun with that. If you have any questions, let me know. I would love to help you go through any of the steps in more detail if you need it. But that's it. I hope you guys have fun, and I hope you uh, make some really nice headbands. If you guys do, send some pictures. I want to see them. I want to see what you come up with, what different styles and colors and everything that you pick. Let me see them. Send them my way. That's it. If you guys have any questions, you know where to find me. I'm on Twitter, slash DawnDelRusso.com or BellaDawn.com or DawnDelRusso.com. Oh, and don't forget, I have, I know, I think one or two people asked me about the class. I'm doing the virtual workshops which are really fun. Everybody's been really liking them. Um, they're a really inexpensive class, and I do them on Ustream, so they're live. And basically, you can go on. We could go back and forth. I answer all your questions in our class. I have three. How to become a stylist, how to write a fashion book, or how to open your own boutique. So there are three really fun ones. They're coming up in February, so if you want to check those out, go to belladawn.com to the style section. You'll see them there. That's it. I'll see you guys soon. Have a good weekend. Bye.